What's up guys, Lethal Leslie here and today I'm bringing you a new trading method which can bring you absolute bank if you do it right. It's called the team of the week trading method and that's what I'm going to be covering and I'm going to be covering some players that go up and why they go up and what to look for in next week's team of the week so that you can make these investments to get these players that go up. So first of all, the player that I invested in this week was Frank Fabra, if you check that out on my Road to Glory series, you'll see I made massive profits on Frank Fabra, selling him on for 7k a pop when I bought them for 1.6k or less. So I'm just going to go and show you that fast on the transfer market. I think he's even more at the moment. Um, let me just put in Frank here. There he is, Frank Fabra. And we're just going for his normal card, but as you can see at the moment, his normal card is actually gone up all the way to 10k so the cheapest frank fabra you can get is 10k and that is so such a little amount of them on the market at the moment which is mad as well okay that's gone i would have bought that and just bought my trade pile just in case someone drops tonight for informs um so yeah so frank fabra was the one to go this week if you really wanted to get a player that was going to go massively in form why was that people will ask why is frank fabra the one to buy this week and the answer was because he was getting rinsed into SBCs basically. Yes, he's low rated, so he would would have been quick sold a lot to, for starters, but he was also getting rinsed into SBCs. And they would have been the starter SBCs because a lot of people were using Colombian teams to do the starter SBCs. The starter SBCs that I'm talking about are the Hybrid League, Hybrid Nation, Hybrid League of Nation. Unfortunately, they are dead now, so the chance of making coins from them over multi accounts is extremely slim because the price on players is is dead basically. I did the count the other day and I managed to get myself 7k profit after doing 8 SBCs and that's when I said to myself I think these ones are dead. So yeah Frank Fabra was the one to go for this week because of those reasons. So when we're looking at next week I like to use Viva La FIFA. He drops a lot of players that have done well. He does an inform um, prediction so if you haven't watched his videos I like to watch them on a Monday today and check out who's going to be in form on Wednesday. You look for the players that have done extremely well. And then the next thing to look at is SBCs. So if we're going to have a look at SBCs for this week coming up now for Team of the Week trading. Obviously we have the Halloween ones, but we can't be guaranteed on them because we don't know what else is going to drop throughout the week. Um, we have Harry Kane here, who's still available for the next three days. So he will actually be gone come next week. And we also have stuff like the, where are they, whoa, yeah, here they are, the right at the back now is um, the in, uh, icon card, sorry. And right now there isn't nothing great to say who's going to be rinsed, but maybe these icons aren't the worst. So let's have a little look at the Ruby Costa requirements to see. So Benfica players, minimum of three. So if there's any Benfica players coming into the team of the week, they will get rinsed into this SBC over the week. And maybe Benfica players will be a good one to go for. What else do we have? We have Florentina players, minimum of one. That's not so great. Nationalities, Portuguese players. So probably Benfica players, minimum of three is actually not a bad one. Three Benfica players required for this one. So if a player... Is there a rating? Yeah. So if a player like um, Joe Nass was to get an inform, he might be a great one. If a Portuguese Benfica player was to get an inform, that might be a decent investment for a player that's going to go up as well. I know... Rui Patricio, who's a Portuguese player, I know Portuguese players minimum of five in this one. When he got an inform, he also went up to about 7k, 8k for a uh, Rui Patricio near the end of his time in the team of the week. So that's another example of a team of the week player that did go high because of this SBC in particular. That one was, I think, as well. So yeah, Obermars, anything in the Obermars one? Exchange your squad, Eredivisie players. Team of the week. Arsenal players was four on that one, but there's so much Arsenal goal players that it's not. I wouldn't expect them to be so good. Really, what we want with this is for something new to drop, and then there'd be a team of the week coming up straight after that. So, for example, maybe next week, like this week, there is nothing too fresh when it comes to players, so it's really hard to get that player that's going to be in team of the week. Again, like I said, you could use a Benfica player, but you need the players to be getting rinsed in SBCs. So if you can match up a team of the week player with a player being rinsed in the SBC, 
you're talking about gold. So that's what you want to be looking out for for team of the week trading. And that is how to do it. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. I hope you guys understand how it works. If you don't understand how it works, drop a comment in the comment section. I can add something to that for you in the comment section. Answer your questions. I'm answering every question at this stage in the comment section. So if you have a comment, let me know and I will try and help you out. Um, yeah, that's it guys for this video. So if you've liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching as always and take it easy.